Production of the 1.8 meter wide prime focus infrared microlensing experiment, dubbed the Prime, started in 2020. With the project now completed at a cost of around 168 million rand, astronomers can expand their scope of research on the cosmos. With this uh, telescope, because of its advanced technology, it's using technology such as near infrared, which is able to to see through dust in the galaxy and also introducing microlensing which is able to see small planets and also be able to see through moving planets. This advanced technology is one that was made possible through the partnership with Osaka, with NASA, uh, with Astrobiology Center in Japan as well as with uh, the South African government, Department of Science, Technology and Innovation, NRF and the South African Astronomical Observatory. It will extend the wavelength range that we can observe in. So this is a near-infrared telescope. That means it looks at the light that's redder than we can see with our normal vision, our normal visual part of the spectrum. So it moves into the red, and that allows us to look at different things. And the particular aim of this telescope is to do a survey of the bulge of our galaxy, the Milky Way, uh, to look for planets around other stars. So to, to try and understand the universe as a whole, um, and our galaxy and, and what's in it, whether there could be life on other planets. Government has reiterated the significance of this facility in the country and the rest of the continent. This is a uh, acknowledged area in the world for astronomy. Uh, so Prime is adding to our capabilities and uh, people come to this area for a number of reasons. One is obviously we have the pristine skies. Uh, we've declared this a, as an astronomy geographic area advantage area, but we also have deep scientific and engineering capabilities to ensure that these telescopes, these telescopes are highly precision instruments, they need uh, good engineers, good technical people to keep it up here. So the addition here just kind of consolidates this place as one of those key international uh, astronomy facilities. Known as the gateway to the universe, the Sutherland Plateau is becoming an even more important place for astronomy. It now boasts an additional top-notch instrument that enhances Africa's ground-based optical observation capabilities. This new instrument is another step forward in our exploration of the cosmos and its putting South Africa at the forefront of that exploration. Kevin Brandt, Sutherland.